Bacon is a widely used and powerful interpolation technique. You can find the software here. Click on the Software and Animations link here, then to Bacon, as well as a user manual. There's also a nice example of how to use Bacon here. With Martin Blau's help, we have built Bacon's functionality into Cybox as a plug-in. That was not trivial, by the way, as those of you who have gotten com different computer programs to talk to each other will understand. Here's the Bacon computation plan that ships with the current version of Cybox. First it does a Calib style calibration. You have to do such a calibration before invoking Bacon within Cybox, by the way. This is another important subtlety of the design. The original Bacon code does both the calibration and the interpolation in an intertwined fashion. In Cybox, we have separated out those two steps into two separate computation plan elements. This was done so as to work better within Cybox's kind of building blocks workflow architecture. That not only gives the scientist a clean interface and lots of flexibility, it also feeds into Cybox's use of modern distributed cyber infrastructure. You don't see it, but this tool is actually working behind the scenes to parallelize the calculations and speed them up. As a result, for example, a Cybox Bacon workflow, like the one I'm showing you here, is faster than running Bacon in native mode on the same core. So Cybox will actually enforce the calibrate before running Bacon constraint. If you tried to build a computation plan that didn't include this box before this box, it would pop up a dialog saying, you have to run a calibration first. The second step in this scientific workflow is the Bacon run. It has this funny name, interpolate using bacon, to make it clear that that code just does the Bayesian interpolation that is what makes bacon so powerful. The presence of this third block here goes back to something I highlighted in the very first video. Just because you do an interpolation doesn't mean that you use it. This third block takes the age model produced by bacon and applies it to every row in the grid. In the case of this core, that computation plan will calibrate the values in the 14C age column which will fill in this calibrated age column in the grid. It will then feed these values to Bacon. That step will create an age model. The assign block will use that model to map every depth in the grid to the corresponding age, which will fill in this model age column in the grid. Let me show you how to run this. Go to the Computations button and select the Bacon style interpolation plan. You'll get a dialog box that you can use to specify values for the most commonly used of Bacon's many parameters. The values that are in here are just the defaults. Note that the columns are filled in, as I mentioned, and the metadata panels of the display over here on the right now have all the information that you'd need in order to replicate that run exactly, or to see what someone else did. For example, your PhD student did 35 Cybox runs. You can look through them, decide which ones you like, and know what the parameters were. In another part of this project, we're developing an artificial intelligence system that kind of wraps around the system that I'm showing you here. It can actually evaluate a model, report upon its findings, and even make suggestions about better parameter values. A key attribute of that AI engine is that it explains its reasoning. To accomplish all that, it uses closed form rules that we're building in collaboration with expert Bacon users around the world. Please do contact us if you'd be willing to have your brain picked for these rules. Back to non-artificial intelligence, that is, how you can use Bacon through Cybox. I've showed you how to run it. Let me show you how to plot the results. You click the Plot button and choose what to plot. In this case, I'm going to plot the calibrated 14CH, black squares, so they're nice and visible, and the Bacon distribution may be in light blue. And as I showed you in the first video, you can export this plot to JPEG, PDF, or whatever, and you can also export the Bacon model and use it as you currently use Bacon.